the Madison School District says the former Madison School and Community Recreation Executive Director charged with 12 counts of child pornography is no longer employed by the district. 44-year-old Jacob Tissue of McFarland had been on administrative leave following the charges. Back from a court appearance today, Madeline O'Neill tells us how Tissue got on authority's radar in the first place. Maddie? Eric Tissue is out on signature bond today and ordered to have no unsupervised contact with any juveniles except for his children. New court documents are shedding light on why he's accused of these crimes in the first place. Jacob Tissue appears in person with attorney Steven Eisenberg. Before possession of child pornography charges were filed against Jacob Tissue, came an in depth investigation. I do find probable cause for the charges in the complaint. Court documents show McFarland police searched hundreds of what they determined to be Tissue's emails, finding 48 child erotica images and 12 distinct images meeting the Wisconsin law's definition of child pornography, depicting girls believed to be 13 years old or younger with adult men. According to the criminal complaint, when asked to explain the images, Tissue apologized, telling detectives it started with looking up photos of young women in bikinis and escalated from there starting about two years ago. Detectives also found a photo showing a young girl out at a McFarland restaurant, but Tissue told them he may have been taking a photo of something else. And there's a child there, or a minor. Getting Tissue in court started with a cyber tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, originally submitted from an internet service provider of child porn files connected to a McFarland address. And it gives me a really great starting point. Detective Mike Clements can't comment on Tissue's case in particular, but says McFarland receives a handful of such cyber tips a year. There's many instances that would probably not come to the attention of law enforcement were it not for NECMEC and their cyber tips. That's just the beginning. We can't charge you simply based on what's in a cyber tip. So we have to, to get that information independently in order to confirm what was in there. And then in many cases, we're getting uh, additional email accounts or additional pieces of information that help with an arrest and a prosecution later on down the line, too. So, If Tissue is convicted, he faces at least three years in prison. Thank you. Tissue's hired attorney, Mark Eisenberg, wasn't available for an on-camera interview today and couldn't comment on the specific case at this time, but tells us he believes the three-year minimum sentence for those found guilty of possession of child pornography is unhelpful and says a therapeutic approach would be more beneficial than prison time. Now, Tissue is due back in court at the end of the month. All right, Maddie, thank you very much. We'll be back with more.